The Institute of Oil and Gas Conference is currently underway at the University of Nairobi. We now want to cross over there and listen into that. The makers, including our own permanent secretary, B.S. Andrew Kamau, is very passionate about this skill and capacity building, and that's why he's even present here today. So our Chief Administrative Secretary, we are also delighted to have you, together with the entire packing of the ministry and the board of directors of Kenya Pipeline, the entire pipeline, and all the other stakeholders, it is a great joy for me to see the success and to see this day as we chat the way forward. My hope is that the liberation that will come out of this, we will actualize to shift the policy making for the betterment of the graduate or monitor district of oil and gas and capacity building at large. So without mentioning many, many other things, of course, we want to say welcome to Moretta District of Oil and Gas. And I wish to take this opportunity now to invite my boss, the chief executive of Kenya Pipeline Company, um, Mr. Joe Sang, to come and make uh, his remarks. Of course, I pray that one day when I become a professor, I will also get a standing ovation, isn't it? So as for me, as for me, I'm walking towards where Professor Mbiti will be, so I don't deserve a standing ovation, but uh, one day when I become a professor, maybe I'll get it, right? So welcome, Mr. Jo Sang, to make your remarks. You bet my name is Mr., not Professor. <laughs> All right. Uh, our Chief Administrative Secretary, Ministry of Energy and Mining, Engineer John Mosonic. Our Principal Secretary, State Department of Petroleum, Mr. Andrew Kamau. Our, Our Excellency, the High Commissioner of Canada, Lady Sarah. Her name is very difficult to pronounce. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Nairobi, Professor Mbidi. Kenya Pipeline Board of Directors who are here, and I'd like to request them to just wave. I can see Director Odek there. <laughs> director Andambi. And I know there's one more director, Nepe, who is on his way. Local and international delegates present here today, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Can you give your neighbor a high five? And tell them this is a good day. <laughs> Indeed, I'm truly honored to welcome you all to the first Morendat Institute of Oil and Gas Conference here in Nairobi. Allow me to thank you for accepting our invite. This year's conference, whose aim is to boost cooperation and partnership within the oil and gas sector specifically, with a view to exploiting available opportunities for capacity building in oil and gas sector. As such, our theme for this year, or for this conference, is opportunities for capacity building in oil and gas sector and other extractives in Eastern Africa region in order to address, or rather the, the bridge the cap in terms of the skills that we are currently lacking in terms of welding, the quotas, and just to bring you up to speed, in the entire region, we only have three welders, three professional welders, who are able to weld a pipeline with product. Three out of, how many are we? 45 million Kenyans. And therefore, this theme, or this conference, has come in very handy. Let me take this opportunity to appreciate the Morendat Institute of Oil and Gas, MIOG, which is a constituent college of Kenya Pipeline Company, which is KPC, for organizing this conference, and the University of Nairobi, for accepting to host us for a second time.
the first time KPC and University of Nairobi Oil and Gas Public Sector Series was held here in July 1 of 2016 to discuss the oil and gas in the East Africa region with a focus on challenges and opportunities in the sector. At that time, we had over 500 participants drawn from government, private oil companies, staff, students from the University of Nairobi who engage in oil and gas discussion. And I'm very proud to announce that this conf conference has attracted over 300 participants, signifying the growing importance of this forum in shape shaping the destiny of the oil and gas sector. Ladies and gentlemen, KPC is the only white oil pipeline operator in the region. With over 1,300 kilometers of pipeline network, but as the region embarks on large-scale oil and gas exploitation, it is estimated that over 2,700 kilometers of pipeline will need to be constructed with this significant growth. Why am I, why am I saying that? This will require over 2,700 technicians. Up from the current, we only have 700 technicians in our region. And the 700 technicians are all currently working for Kenya Pipeline. So we are looking at in the next three, four years, we need to quadruple that to 2,500. That's a huge number. And therefore, the need to enhance capacity in oil and gas is now. All right, so that is the uh, MD for uh, Kenya Pipeline, uh, Joe Sang, who is uh, currently addressing uh, the uh, guests and the participants in the uh, Morandat Oil and Gas Conference that is currently underway at the uh, University of Nairobi. We'll